Lesson number one. Lesson number one. This particular this video will contribute to do them. Now God sending me to the video. When I'm always saying, I say, oh, to I want to, oh, contribute. Lesson number one, my contribute, Dr. Betty. Listen, whether or not you accept, my contribute is a force to reckon with. Me, I didn't agree. He's an enemy that is strong. You listen to the video, this video, it tells a lot of things. So this one, na tinwe all una, una get forget sense. So one thank my country people and all the other soldiers and say, so Amazonians will thank my country people for the wonderful job. Now, move go ahead. I remember for January 2022, more than two years ago, where we published, I'm say Senator Kemende, he be be killed, murdered by Ambazonia terrorists for Bamenda. And I'll be specifying and say this on a snake by snake. Today, you say, now we kill Kemende Henry. Yes, when now we kill Ke Ke Kemende Henry. When they be kill him, the motorway, if they inside, the boy then take him. Listen for me now. When they be kill him, the boy, the way they kill him, and carry the motor go to the camp. La Republic later on attack that camp, recover that motor. All man no say, na Ambazonian fighter then kill him. No be news. Unless na person where he play for himself, international community where they get people for ground, they know. People for ground zero, they know. Now who will you hide and say no we kill him? No, because if you come out to criminal people, then key, not be any fighter then key. Now fighter then kill him, my brother. Now fighter then you want you want tongue and say you know be five more toxin a fighter or you want toxin no be fighter then kill him. Yes, we'll be talking a criminal and kill it because even the, the my, my explanation for you here now, that way they be kill yes. Kemende, our forces they be talking no be they be killer. Until the day when yes. they go catch the Kemende in moto, we we'll come with them for inside cabinet, we we'll ask them for say now, now how come we come to get that that uh, Kemine Emoto, I question the boy and then talk say yes. Now our soldier the be killer and then give the name for the commander. Me, I no be ever know why the be killer. Go back from my conversation with uh, with uh, with uh, General with uh, Ayabacho. That way Kemine be come for Bamenda. The information come for me say for Bamenda. I be quiet Ayabacho tell you say Kemine de for Bamenda. Nothing and this way don't do am. He don't talk for me say nothing and this way don't do am. He tell me say the need for pick up that man. I tell you say no. That man a man where he work with we. Some people then they will then be very important where you're not supposed to touch them. I have a chubby talk say okay. Where the show say probably I don't know whether I go for bago talk me the boy then go catch him or not before then go kill him for the place where it happened. But for say now who kill Kemende, all my for Bamenda no say na AD of Kemende. The only person where you know no one. Now people they're not being in connection with ground zero. So there is no debate about that one. The information why we talk at that time say na criminal they kill them because no be any normal person for go kill Kemende. Kemende na man where he frundi. He did it today, so man come and say you want to kill a uh, bishop. You do go kill bishop, you don't go touch not only the bishop, you go touch the whole Catholic church. So some kind of people in the way, we're no, not no, supposed no. to kill them. Yeah, if I, I have a uh, choice, tell me. I sympathize, I sympathize with the killing, but you know if you compare with bishop, because... No, I the want to tell you, say, Kemende, Kemende, listen for me. Kemende, he big past bishop when he comes to Cameroon politics. Now man, we even francophone, they fear he. Now, man, where the American government, they look at the people, they know where they know democracy. Now, man, that way, either articulate the democracy for inside Cameroon, fight for, 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 for freedom for our people inside parliament, debate, write, document them. Kemende be the communicate with us one by one, either consult with us one by one. Before Kemende won't go for interview, either call me, say, Kapo, I go interview today for Equinox, I go interview for this place. You want my talk, see, wait, see. Now, start the plan for talk. Now, how you feel, hello, now, how feel you push this thing for in front? I will tell you, say, Pa, come on, resign. He will tell me, say, Kapo, we may we get differences for this area, say, we run the sense, we will fight for inside the system. But we will see, work together. I have a true no. All man waited for egg of sea. I quanga them all they know because I always give the people the report. Why would you want to kill Kemende? That why we talk for I have a true. I have a true talk for inside cabinet. Say, listen, I have a true be talking to me and picking up. I deny. Support the killing of anybody, not even Kemende, not even anybody. The problem is you are walking back from your statement. We get all the information. Like what statement? That is the problem. You know, uh, when you are in an organization, are, listen, listen, listen. listen. Because Senator Henry Kamende be being an amber himself. He be to work with them, he be to collaborate with them. And now this kind of people, them, 
they bring the initiate the ambazonian nonsense inside the anglophone zone so now poetic justice when the snake way you don't defeat them they don't grow enough for swallow you i remember when i be posting so when they come out they, they call themselves lawyer they can't threaten me they say countryman you the slander some good man in name they talk talk all kind of nonsense i just ignore them even the anglophone journalists them they never get the powers or the courage for people publish what we me at the publisher because they will get the same kind of similar threats from people the way they talk so they go they, they go uh, litigate or they go sue them for court said they slander uh, uh senator commander because he was a, also a barrister you understand because of all those threats so the journalists then to inside come they go go right and say unknown gunmen now so they write them and then they started write nonsense 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 okay a few months they can't pass no become Roman military go uh, for the amber terrorists they are come they go uh, take that senator commander yimoto where they be kill you for that incident where they kill you they kill you for petrol station they shoot you for day where he go he go for go carry petrol they carry moto go with them he go for go uh, uh take fuel petrol they carry moto go with them no become a military go liberate the moto from the amber terrorists that camp a few months later wait those so-called journalists or so-called lawyers they can't talk after that all of them go mute they not talk Two years plus, they don't come past. Nobody the same amber terrorists, they can't they confirm for now. Namia they talk now, nobody Namia they talk. Now Kapo Daneda they talk. At that time, two years plus ago, it be been a spokesperson for the same terrorists, the way they kill Senator Henry Kemende for Bamenda. Today, now you can't tell when I say yes, it be been at them. Now them kill that man. And it be also confirm and say yes, that man be been an amber, it be the work with them. I don't tell you in the early days, whether right or wrong, whether a political miscalculation or not, but the truth, not the truth. Many SDF militants and politicians and even some elected officials, them like Senator Kemende, they be day inside the Cameroon system itself. But not just were they sympathizing with Ambazonia terrorists, they were working in concert with them. Because at that time, they be believed today so their destinies they be intertwined they be believe today so uh, maybe amber if give them some political relevance they be one for use the ambassador terrorism for political expediency the honorable joseph wilba honorable joseph Bandam, uh, the honorable uh, senator uh, Kemende henry and a bunch of them what they happen in the end the same ambassador terrorism just like how I be tell them, say Amber na bad news for all Anglophones. There is a distinct difference between Anglophone problem and Ambazonia terrorism. In the end, as also the Amber, it can destroy them. It not just destroy them as individuals, they lead on for destroy SDF as a political party. Wipe them off the map. They not get how many senators SDF get on today? How many parliamentarians? What standing do they have even in their grassroots, the stronghold of the SDF as a political party will be there inside the Anglophone zone? Does it still exist? Even the national chairman, even after he death, after he go to rest, eternal rest, when I wrote for all man, after I go to rest, they still get fight. There is fight plus to die man. They talk say so they no go bury ye for your own land. Nijon Frundi, Amber terrorists, they wage war against Nijon Frundi, ye die body yes but in the early days as anglophones did not get them capability for learn they not get them ability for get sense they will continue for make the same mistakes from 1950s 1960s 1970s 1990s till today they will still make the same mistake they don't really learn they don't know how to make political calculation the things today so ambassador terrorism will give them opportunity for get some kind of political expediency or they feel use them ride them ride the wave of the angry anglophone forget concessions from Yaoundé or forget more powers inside Cameroon. I don't know what their political calculation was. The same mistakes the way Endele, Fon, Chamoun, and the come in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, that the same political miscalculations where Anglophones that they still make come till today. Nothing has changed. So now I wish they would learn and grow as a people. So Abite Una said that Ambazuna terrorists, they killed Senator Kemende, and I stand by that word. And Abite Una, since 2022, Say this so Senator Commander himself being an amber, na snake bite snake. And today, the same amber terrorism, 
when I them kills and the document they can't confirm all things when me have don't tell them for now. Just like now me have tell when I say we don't kill Oliver Lekiaka, we not deny 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 last last last. Now can't agree. Now me have tell when I say we don't kill RK. Now me have tell when I say we don't kill no pity. A lot of things that they this one even now for me for gloat, for say I told you so, for say now me are over sappy. It's not about over sappy. Sometimes the day when you don't study a particular topic long enough and you get a lot of competence for that topic, sometimes you start predicting what is going to happen even before it happened. Like I be tell uh, yesterday I do a live broadcast as I, I be tell a fan big number Emmanuel for he call it a big number uh, the one where they will go display carcass or guzang there they smell the whole place. A uh, so called supreme shit no white blast or body. I be tell you for May two thousand and twenty three that will be capture so called general savior and bad man. I tell you, say, kill them. I tell you, kill them before they can't kill you. Because if you kill them, it will prolong your life a little bit longer. Because we are coming to kill you. We are coming. It's only a matter of time. But if you kill the, the one that you don't capture, whatever, Amber, capture Amber, kill him one time. If you capture Amber, leave him, it will come back for revenge. Now, exactly what I will tell you. It don't, 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 don't make him. It really save your right. What save your do? It can surrender. Now, it's for what come, right? For December 2023, save your sunny est. A, a direct message to a fan big number say i am coming after you one month later for january 2024 what's a fang day exactly what you have to tell you say go happen now exactly what will happen and i say go it go follow on like i talk when you don't study a topic no me na uh no me na some people they will call it this is the fake pastors they will, they will call and say wait see, say uh, they, they do revelations or they, they do miracles or whatever no it's not miracles now just when you study a particular topic and you be competent enough for talk about that topic because you, you talk with hindsight and you talk studying what will don't happen before understanding what will happen now then you fit predict what will happen next it's just knowledge when you don't study you understand ambassador terrorism you know what will happen then if you predict the next moves the way they should not wipe to go make them that's it. First of all, knowing that people are there, first of all, I get sense. So for pretty ways where they go do I'm um, <laughs> not be difficult. Just think about the stupidest thing with any stupid person can do. Um, that's what they are going to do the next thing. Thank you, plenty to today now. Na, and my seventeenth day for March 2024. Southern Cameroon have been integrated into La Republic to Cameroon. When the British people were leaving Southern Cameroon in Tico Airport, they tend to Amadou Aijo to hand him the instrument of our sovereignty, not to Jungu Foncha. So we know that we did not have the support of the British government and our, our administration was, was very young. Jungu Foncha had been campaigning for us to join French Cameroon and he just wanted us to join. Now Kapo Daniel go talk. He talk, it don't change. I don't finally succeed for educate at least this one amber fool. Make it understand. Point number one. That territory known as the former Southern Cameroons, where today now the northwest and the southwest region of Cameroon, has never been sovereign. It never, ever, ever, ever gets sovereignty. And I waited this way, I don't educate them for a long time. But finally, Ngong Dog Kapo Daniel, it don't learn more sense. And when I listen, now you go talk. Today is the 12th day of this month of uh, February 2024. My name is Kapo Daniel. You, last week, we put out a video, an audio in the podcast, where we talk about our narrative in this struggle, which is that 11 February was a day changed from a plebiscite day by La Republic du Cameroon into a youth day that make mockery of our, our history. But I'm going to present to you the facts and the truth, because when you are angry, you say certain things sometimes out of anger. And sometimes you sin when you are angry. But for us to win this war, we will conform to the African Union Charter and international law. Because independence or whatever we may get will be something that will require the international community to support us. So in line with our goal to push for freedom for our people and end this war, we are going to be factual with you and align ourselves with international law so that we can better serve our people to push for their right, their right of self-determination. So I want to start with uh, 
with 11 February. What is 11 February all about? And this is very important because for many people, this may be the first time you have heard about this, but we are going to put it to you anyway. What is 11 February? What did Cameroon change uh, the plebiscite day to a youth day? This is a very important question that we must answer to our people because we have had that narrative push down our throat for seven years. I'm going to tell you the truth and what it means for our struggle going forward. 11 February, as you know very well, was the plebiscite day. It is very important in our history. It is a day that the Southern Cameroon, which was a Kwasi region in Nigeria, a Kwasi region means that the Nigerian government granted us autonomy. That was under the British. So the British government, in effect, granted us autonomy and self-governance. It gave us a unique opportunity under the leadership of the Prime Minister Endele to build a very solid democracy and strong institutions that prepare us eventually for independence. So that, that 11 February was the day where the United Nations organized a plebiscite for our people to express their opinion, whether they want to join Nigeria or they want to join Cameroon. This is the root cause of this problem. Because during that time, our people were told that it was just an opinion and they were going to go through several procedures in order for them to secure a, 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 a contract with Cameroon as a union. Unfortunately, that never happened. They were deceived. And right now we know what happened because we have the, 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 the ability to look in hindsight and to study what has happened. Recently, the British government released a document to, to, to Barrister Mukwele, who appealed in the British court about this case, about the British government obligation to our territory. And in that document, they clearly stated that Southern Cameroon have been integrated into La Republic to Cameroon, which is not what we were told, which is not what Cameroon promised in the United Nations. These are all injustices that we have suffered. Can this injustice be, be sued in court? Yes. Are there legal re remedy for such injustice? Unfortunately, in legally speaking, there are very few remedies because the British government have been sued for a similar case before. And the only thing they did was to apologize to those people because they have uh, discretion in managing the territories that they were trusted to manage. But I'm here to give you the fact of what happened on 11 February. 11 February was a plebiscite day. It took place in 1960 where our people voted to join French Cameroon against Nigeria. The vast majority of our people voted to join French Cameroon and indeed they went to Fumban to have a union. Unfortunately, everything we put on the table was rejected. Nevertheless, our government led by Jongu Foncha continued the union with Cameroon through the constitution that was imposed on us, passed by the Cameroon, Cameroon parliament. We had a very poor uh, fight by our diplomats to secure a better deal for us. Everything that was rejected, they never put up a good fight. One, because they were very weak. Two, when the British people were leaving Southern Cameroon in Tiko Airport, they turned to Amadou Aijo to hand him the instrument of our sovereignty, not to Jungu Foncha. So we know that we did not have the support of the British government and our our administration was, was very young. Jungu Foncha had been campaigning for us to join French Cameroon and he just wanted us to join without any safeguards and we are suffering the consequences of that particular decision. So I want our people to know before 11 February became what we call today Youth Day. What really happened? I'm going to give you the facts. In 1962, John Gu Foncha, who was now the Vice President of Cameroon, had a speech where he cancelled the celebration of our National Day. Our National Day was the Southern Cameroon Day. And John Gu Foncha, not La Republic du Cameroon, we may say that he was influenced by La Republic or not, but he was responsible. He gave the order, released this document to cancel our Southern Cameroon Day henceforth. And this is his speech. I'm going to read part of the speech so that you hear. Jongu Foncha said, 
the 26th October, which marked the separation of Cameroon from East Nigeria region, was celebrated as a Pasha National Day because we were still under trusteeship rule. Its celebration gave us the impetus to regain a wider nationhood and was the beginning of our independence. So you could hear Foncha talking about the period where we were Kwasi region not as being independent, but as still being under the trusteeship rule. I say this because you have some people who are not very well educated about this subject, like Chris Anu have said that we were independent country when we had autonomy. No. So we were under the British trusteeship system, as you can hear. So this was a speech John Wu Foncha gave to change our national day, or Sauron Cameroon Day, on the 26th of October, that celebrate our separation from Nigeria. It was changed into a national day by John Gu Foncha, who was then the vice president of Cameroon. And that was the speech he said. And the, the document, the historic document where this archive came from says that the West Cameroon leadership, that means they had a meeting, the West Cameroon leadership decided to transform a national day into a youth day. So from 1962, it was now to 1963, the National Day of Southern Cameroon was now celebrated as a youth day. So you have October 26, Southern Cameroon National Day was changed and it was now celebrated as a youth day without a national guard in presence. So the date was changed by John Gu Foncha. And in 1963, the Secretary of State of Education and Social Welfare, who was uh, S.M. Ndamukong, at that time, he made this speech that further made the transformation of that day. 1963, Honorable Ndamukong, he said, this is his speech, I'm going to read the speech. Youth Day. So he now, they were celebrating 11 February still in 1963 as a plebiscite day. But in 1963, after the celebration, the Secretary of Social Welfare and Education, Mr. Ndamukong, he made a speech that transformed the plebiscite day, which was 11 February. Remember that Jongu Foncha only changed the Southern Cameroon Day into Youth Day. But in 1963, Honorable Ndamukong changed our plebiscite day, 11 February, into the Youth Day. And this is a speech, I will read the speech. He says, Youth Day is now 11 February each year. School sports normally held on the 26th of October will be held on the 11th of February. Teachers and pupils should therefore know that 11 February 1964 is the date on which youth sports will take place. On October 1, Reunification, Reunification Day will be a public holiday for March Pass. So this document is signed by Honorable Ndamukong, who was the Secretary of, uh, of uh, Education and Social Welfare in the Southern Cameroon government. At that time, Southern Cameroon was now West Cameroon. We have a functioning government that represents our people, and we have our Prime Minister, who was now the Vice President of uh, La Republic du Cameroon. So this is what happened. The, the change of, our, of 11 February from a national day, from a plebiscite day, to a youth day was not changed by La Republic du Cameroon, but our own Southern Cameroon or West Cameroon government. The leadership changed it and the Secretary of State did make that changes. This is very important for us to know the truth, to know the fact. Not just that we conform with international law, but also that we can have a proper voice because only the truth shall set us free. If we don't know the truth, we don't speak the truth, we can't be set free. Some radicals within our struggle that have taken advantage of this movement of our people looking for their freedom have completely destroyed our narrative by injecting falsehood that have no reference in history. So this is part of us restoring the truth and make sure that we can fight for our people in a way that is going to bear fruit. In 1963, when Mr. Ndamukong has changed the plebiscite day into a youth day, the next year, 
John Gu Foncha came to participate in celebration because he had moved to Yaoundé when he was made the vice president. And this is what he said in 1964 when they made the first celebration of 11 February not as a plebiscite day as a, but as a youth day. John Gu Foncha speak, I quote him, the idea of a youth day to children on 11 February means to feast while for grown up 11 February youth day was a day a majority of the people of West Cameroon made history by almost unanimously, honestly, voluntarily decides to achieve independence and reunification with former French Cameroon. So this is our Prime Minister, our representative calling La Republic du Cameroon as former, former French Cameroon. That is why sometimes we also call our Southern Cameroon as former Southern Cameroon. We must know the fact there are some of these illiterates like this hemophrodite guy, this Bobby boy who continues to disturb our people, but you have to know the fact. Southern Cameroon is considered former, just like French Cameroon is considered former under United Nations and under the African Union Charter. And the, 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 the new country that was created cannot be considered French Cameroon or English Cameroon. Such consideration and attempts to consider it as such is illegal, even by the regime it plays. So for us to have good standing and be able to make a case for our people that can bear fruit and that can be heard, we must be in accordance and in conformity with the law. That is why many petitions that have been sent by our people to the international communities have just simply been ignored or not taken seriously because it is not in conformity with international law. We have come far for seven years now and we have had time to study, engage the international community to find out what is really the problem that they don't hear our plea each time we, we communicate with them. And we have an obligation as leadership, as organization representing the best interests of our people to do the right thing and to do history justice. So this is John Gu Foncha talking about reunification. The word he is using is reunification. That means he is even affirming the fact that the two Cameroon was once one country under the Germans, which it was just the truth. So after 1964, when John Gu Foncha attended the Youth Day in 11 February, which was the first Youth Day, and the first time 11 February was celebrated as a Youth Day, this celebration was not done in all of Cameroon. It was done only on our own West Cameroon, our own Anglophone Cameroon. So during the first time 11 February was celebrated as a youth day, it was presided over by John Gu Foncha, the vice president of Cameroon. And it was not just one day celebration. It was a huge celebration. 11 February celebration in 1964, the Sultan of Fumban was invited. It was a huge celebration in Victoria with all our dignitaries that attended that attended it the celebration ended with a huge reception that took place in the prime minister lodge in boya they had over 500 guests from people of west cameroon government and the people of our own territory it was very very fantastic and in 1967 that is when amadou ahijo seeing this huge man magnificent celebration of of uh, pride and nationhood by our people decided to declare 11 February Youth Day as a national day that was being celebrated now across both the West Cameroon and East Cameroon, which is Francophone Cameroon. So our people should know very well the origin of this day. It wasn't a day that was imposed by us by La Republic. It was a day that originated from us, celebrated our heritage and celebrated the decision of self-determination we made to join French Cameroon. And for those who think that we did not join, ask yourself that the Vice President of Cameroon, John Gu Foncha, was there as who? John Gu Foncha, in his speech in 1963, talking about referring to Southern Cameroon Youth Day, stated that it was a day that celebrated what has been achieved in terms of reunification. What did he mean? So we had united with Cameroon through constitutional union, not necessarily the union treaty, as many of us we, we had been pushing forth after being influenced by very radical people. We must know the truth. This truth is not defending La Republic 
as this hemophrodite guy will come and say Kapodani is defending the Republic. No, it is us taking responsibility so that we can make progress. Without taking responsibility of your own mistake, you cannot be in a position where you can make right decision for your people to move forward. These decisions that were made by Jongu Foncha and the leadership of West Cameroon had very damaging impact on our life and we are suffering the consequences. We cannot survive in this war of progress just by blaming La Republic to Cameroon. La Republic to Cameroon is definitely taking advantage of our weakness and the failures we made. This decision that were made by the leadership of West Cameroon was not made due to patriotism or looking out for our people. It was because Jongu Foncha, their propagandists and their statement, if you read from newspaper except during that period, were more concerned about their infighting with Endele. And they were thinking that the uh, National Day that was put in place by Endele in, in 26th of October was a heritage from Endele. It, it was Endele's thing. So they were trying to destroy it, not knowing that they are destroying our entire country. And today we still face the same challenges. And Bazunia think that they want to destroy each other when actually they are destroying the struggle. Look at what Cristiano and, and Sarko did, killing other soldiers in, in Libya, thinking they are going to become powerful. But you don't know you are helping the enemy to achieve their goal. Hail, hail, hail the Kumkumasa, we the Cameroonians, we pledge our loyalty. Kumkumasa, Kumkumasa, you shall free our country from terror. And your blessing shall be like the stars above. The Most High God shall be your guide.